First Alert Forecast, only on Fox 47 News at 10. It is going to be another scorcher this week. Temperatures getting pretty warm. Yeah, we're definitely going to be warming up once again this week. But as for right now, we're actually watching temperatures fall very quickly and we're in for another chilly night tonight. We're already down into the 60s here in Lansing. Current temperature is 69 degrees under clear skies and calm winds. Now those are the ingredients for a cool night and we have the same ingredients down in Jackson where we're also at 69 degrees. Satellite and radar picture from today shows the clouds that moved in for this afternoon, but notice not only have they thinned out, they're also moving on out. So we're going to be watching those skies clear out completely for tonight and that's going to make for just a very chilly night out there. But looking off towards the west, you can see clear skies still in place across much of the Midwest, so we're going to have another couple days of sunshine for finally the system just moving through the northern Rockies breaks off a low and that will move through our area, but not until late week. We'll have a lot of sunshine before that, and that's really going to help warm us up. Today we only saw those highs into the low 80s. 83 was the highest in Lansing and Jackson. 81 was the high in Mason and Charlotte topped out at 82 degrees. Now winds are already very light, and as we saw, skies are clearing out. We're also very dry. Dew points have been into the mid 50s throughout the day, so humidity levels are rather low. Those three things combine to make for a very quick cooling atmosphere, so we're cooling off very quickly already. If you saw 69 degrees in Lansing and Jackson, 65 in Mason, Charlotte is already down to 63 degrees. Looking at the headlines for tonight, that's our top headline. Another clear and cool night, much like last night, maybe just a couple of degrees cooler. But we do have a lot more sunshine in our forecast as we go through the first half of the week. And that's really going to help heat us up. We're looking at temperatures into the 90s by midweek. And yeah, we're also going to be dealing with a little bit higher humidity levels by the time we get towards the end of the week as well. Now your future track, it's not going to show a whole lot. We have those clear skies around tonight and they're going to be clear again into our day on Monday. Another beautiful day with clear skies expected throughout the entirety of the day. Another clear night is expected Monday night into Tuesday, so be another chilly one out there. But the skies stay clear on Tuesday, but notice that little bit more of a southerly track of clouds. That means that we are watching for some higher temperatures and a little bit more humidity that will be moving into our area. So we're really going to start heating up on Tuesday and we're really going to feel that on Wednesday as well. well. See that with our temperature trend. Look at the very nice day on Monday. Only 84 degrees, 88 for Tuesday, all the way up to 92 by the time we hit Wednesday. We'll also have a lot of humidity, so it could be feeling closer to triple digits. We'll stay very warm through the end of the week and with all that heat and humidity, We'll be watching for the chances of some scattered showers and thunderstorms. For tonight, your low temperature, 57 degrees. We'll have a clear night, light wind, so that makes for a very cool night tonight. Tomorrow, those same conditions will be sticking around, but during the day, that means we'll warm up very nicely, all the way up to 84 degrees and still not dealing with any of that humidity for tomorrow. Three-day forecast has a lot of sunshine in it. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, warming up every day, up into the upper 80s Tuesday, 90s by the time we get towards Wednesday. And then the humidity starts to kick in as well. Well, so Thursday, Friday, Saturday, as we stay very warm and very humid, we're going to be watching for a few rounds of scattered showers and thunderstorms. Best chances for it comes once we get towards the day on Friday. I understand we've got uh, some pretty cool photos that some viewers have sent in. To yeah, us. we actually got a couple of them. We had a very nice sunset for tonight. The skies cleared out very nicely right at the end of the day, so that led to a nice sunset set in Mason. We got a photo from that. And we'll should be popping up here on the screen any minute. There it is. So a very nice photo. Thanks to you from uh, the Mason Airs down in Mason taking that photo. We also have another very neat photo of an iridescent cloud. This was taken over Gillette Lake just east of Jackson. Now an iridescent cloud, it's a very rare cloud. So if you did happen to see it today, take note of that because it is rare. It's what happens is when some very small ice crystals act to refract the light from the sun, act as a bunch of different prisms in there. And that makes for a very beautiful sight there. So thanks a lot for those photos. Certainly uh, making the sky look a little pretty. It sure is. All right.